Good morning. This is Tuesday. Welcome to Voice of the Prophet. Amen. With our Prophet Manuel Rene. He's not here on today, but we want to give him a shout out to say, Pastor, we love you. Love you <laughs> we miss you. And we have next to me. Minister Keith Doggett. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. we are talking in this season about, you know, the leader. In this season, we are talking to make sure people are qualified for leadership. Yes. We can't just, you know, take somebody in and they're not qualified to leadership and they're not qualified for the things of God or to do the work. Yes. And our subject today is tried and tested part two yes. of Monday. Amen. And to be a leader, you got to give your all and all. Yes. Your life is not your own. That's right. Your life is totally not your own when you give it to the Lord Jesus Christ. And to be a leader, mm -hmm. your life belongs to God. That's right. That's right. And it's not what people say. You, you, jo you join the body of Christ, everything goes good. No, you to be a leader, you want to go through some things. That's right. Things in life will happen. That's right. As trials in life will come. But the whole thing is to stand on God's word and trust God and have faith and the compassion and the love of Jesus Christ will keep you. That's right. You know? Amen. Amen. That's right. You said you said tried and tested. Yes. You know, we got to understand that we're going to be tried and we're going to be tested. You know what I'm saying? And we got to, we, we got to understand that, that, this life is not our, our own. We don't belong to ourselves. No, we don't. We got to understand that we've been bought by a price, yes. which is Jesus Christ's precious blood mm -hmm. that he shed on Calvary's cross, that we no longer belong to ourselves. And we got to understand that we got to be sold out for Jesus, mm -hmm. that, that we got to give Jesus our all. And, and, and we got to want him. Right. You know, the church, the church, the church lost, matter of fact, the church lost their desire. Yes, it did. That, that we need to have a desire for Jesus yes. again. That I might be tried and tested, but I got a desire to continue to seek him, yes. to continue to love him you with my heart, my soul, yes. my mind, my yes. spirit. That, that, that we got to have a mind that's made up. Yes. See, when you try, when you try and test it, you got to have a mind mm -hmm. that's made up, a heart that's fixed, fixed. that I'm ready. Yes. I'm focused mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus all the way. All that right. I lay down everything about me. Yes. I put down who I think I am and I leave it at the altar. Put my agendas and what I want, what I feel, what I think. And I pick up Jesus. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I pick, I pick up the Father's will, mm -hmm. purpose, and plan and his assignment. And his assignment. His assignment. And that's a problem Not why the church that's, that's a problem why the church went off track. Right. They're doing their agenda, yeah, they are, their assignment. They are assignment yeah. But you got to pick up God's assignment because mm -hmm. when you pick up God's assignment, no matter what comes your way, your mind is focused on what right. God wants That's you to right. do. The accomplishment of His purpose. That's right. So when you you, you look towards the hill that coming Come to on. help, Come on. long as you're looking, you can you can't get off course right. because the love of God will keep you That's on right. course of God. That's no matter what comes, what goes, and that's what the church is doing. They're doing their own thing, their assignment. And as long as you're doing your own thing and your own purpose, you will get off track of the assignment of God. You got you, it's, and then I love what my prophet was saying, Sonny. You, 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 you gotta see, you gotta know the vision. You know what I'm saying? You, you, Heart you, of you, the Father. You, you, you gotta have the vision. Like, yes. like our prophet, Pastor Manny Renee, the vision that God had given him for the house, that, that, that you gotta have, you gotta pick up, you gotta put your vision, your, you gotta put your, your vision down and, and put everything down by the altar. Yes. And then you got to pick up the vision that's going on with the house. Yes. The work of the ministry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You it, it's, a, it's a type of thing that you got to be like like a, another man's vision. Like this is our prophet, Pastor Manny Renee vision. Yes. And we got to got to support the vision yes. by any means necessary. Whatever we got to do, whatever it takes, mm -hmm. and we got to be builders. Yes. Of this ministry, yes, and, and builders, not said, attendees, but builders. As you said, his vision, but we're gonna fix it for the people who 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 want to be so you know have people who are always thinking. It's God's vision, right. and Pastor got God vision, that's right. and he passed it down to us. That's right. That's it's right. It's not something that he picked up for himself. God right. is the blueprint for right. everything that's going Every, on that's inside right. That's right. Zion, and this is teaching us how to be leaders. Mm -hmm. And long as we have the blueprint and we have the compassion in our heart. To lead, God is always going to take care of us. It says in 1 Timothy 3, 4, He must manage his own household mm -hmm. well, keeping his children under control with all diligence, mm -hmm. with respect, mm -hmm. well behaved. I love the message because the message is breaking it down to straight and foremost how your children should be. Yeah. 
and what they expect from your kids. Right. You cannot say you're a leader and your kids are all over the place. And you cannot say you're a leader and your household is not behaved. You understand? You have to be the first partaker. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. This is the rules of God and this is how we're going to live. This is what God's kingdom say that we should live and how we should behave. Right. And it says it right here. Also, well behaved, keeping his children under control right. with all diligence, keeping them in respect. Now, I like this word respect because we live in a time that nobody has respect. And you cannot say you're a pastor or a bishop or a leader and your kids are disrespectful. And let me tell you something your kids are disrespectful, you never make your kids be disrespected to the man or the woman of God who is ruling the house of the Lord, especially the pastors and the bishop. You cannot have that. Because if they're disrespectful to, to, to them, they're disrespectful to God, and they will be disrespectful to you. That's right. They have to be well-behaved. That's what it says. They have to be well-behaved. And when, when I look at it, it's about order. Yes, you, you know have to saying? have order. You got, you got to have order. If you, ain't, if, you ain't got no, if you don't have no order in your home, how are you going to have order in the house of God? Yes, when and your that's house, true. Your household is, is like a rang shack. Your, your kids running through the house, going crazy disrespecting mm -hmm. you, have no manners, have no respect, doing what they want to do. You got to check your kids. Yes. You got to check your kids. You, your kids got to know to respect you. Yes. They got to have honor. Yes. Because the nowadays, these kids don't have no honor. Yeah. They're very disrespectful. First, they got to respect God. Because if they don't respect God, they're not going to respect of you course. at all. Of course. You got to teach them. I like what I like, I like. like what Pastor does. No iPad. When it's time for teaching you all, you all can sit in school. You all can sit down here and, you know, pay attention. You understand? To the Word of God, which is the most important thing in life. Because you need the Word. It says, for a man does not know how to manage his own household. He will, he will be taken care of the church. How could he manage his own household to be taken care of the church? You can't take care of the church if you can't manage your own household. How could you do God's will? How could you do God's work? And you have to be well behaved. You know something the prophet said last week that he said you can't be quick to, to, to get mad when people correct you. Could you, are you a, a leader who could be corrected? How do you act to correction? You understand? Right, right. How do you behave to correction right. if the man or the woman of God correct you? Mm. That's a test right there. Right, right. Well behaved meaning in correction. Right. You, you know what I mean? Are you easy to get anger, angry? Mm. How, how easy are you to be get, get angry? Mm. And he said something last week that I love. He said, are you a person whose anger is out of control? Because if your anger is out of control, when somebody's talking to you, and he said, never meet them to their level. You understand? Meet them at God's level. Right, God's level. Are you a fire starter or are you a person who throw water in the fire? I remember that from last week. Throw water in the fire and calm the person down. Mm -hmm. So you could tell them to get them down. You understand? Being a leader, it takes a lot to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Yes, it takes all that and more to be a leader of God. Mm -hmm. well, I, I, like, I like what you're saying, what you're saying to the point, like, about when... when the authority that's over you, uh -huh. come and check you, yes, and put you in your place uh -huh. to let you know you out of line, you out of order. Yes, you gotta know how to take that. Yes, you gotta know how to take the rebuke. You gotta know how to take the chastisement without being angry, without being angry and upset and yeah. want to flip. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got, you, you got all sense. But that's somewhere. love. Correction yeah, is love. Correction love. You know what I'm saying? God chastises him who he loves. So he have authority, authority that's over to go and check him and chastise yes. us too yes. to let us know that you out of place. Uh -huh. That you are a place, get back in place. Yes, yes. Because and and that's a blessing that you have authority that's over you mm -hmm. that'll check you and let you know that you out of your place. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because a lot of a lot of passing. Well, I don't want to get into that, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's true. A lot of churches they they tell the people it's just grace. Do what you want to do, how you want to do it. Yes. God understand. Mm -hmm. Not not in here. Not in here. I think yeah. God of our proper pastor Manuel Renee. He don't play with us. No, he don't. And we need that. <laughs> we need that. You can't make your anger be out controlling. Right. You understand? Yeah. You have you have to know how to control your anger. Yeah. First of all, and that's the thing. A lot of um, leaders from the past, you know, they come in here and you get chastised and you get corrected from the man of God you're mad and you leave out. You understand? Your, that means your heart wasn't with God. Because let me tell you something. God will send you a, a leader, a shepherd, 
who will guide you from falling over a cliff to save you. Right. Because the Bible says he goes after the one sheep who's fallen, you That's know, right. who's lost. Right. And you have to look at it like that because if he can correct you, you sit down there and take the correction, you will learn from the question, you will grow. Mm -hmm. It's always it's right. always a teaching in right. the correction. Right. Right. It's always a growth in the correction. It's always a leading in the correction. And this is what it's saying right here. We have to know how to behave, how to talk to people. You understand? And how to, to you, nothing wrong with being angry. It says be angry and sin not. Right. But when your anger is out of control, that's another level. Right. You understand? So you have to ask God to help you with your anger. You gotta seek God and ask God, God, this is what I have a problem with. I have an anger issue. God, what, what does the Bible say about your anger issue? Ask God for help about your anger issue. It says be angry and sin not. Nothing wrong with being angry just for a moment. You understand? But not when it's out of control. That people can't talk to you or chastise you or correct you. And your pastor is there. If he is a shepherd and you are the sheep, he's there to lead you. He will take out the rod to correct you. A sheep has a rod to stir. The, the, the shepherd has the rod to, to let the sheep know you can't go here. Come over here. You can't go there, and that's what the correction is. But you know, but you know, we you know one thing. When I when I look at it, when you're saying about correction, and for the for the for the um the people to leave, if you leave, that means you never. You was, was never a part. Here. Yeah, you was never a you part. You never meant to be here. Because a true son stays. A true a true son a true son a stays. true son stays. A true son in correction. Take correction. And they will sit there and learn from it. A true son. A lot of bastards. Yes, it does. A lot of bastards, not sons. Because true sons will appreciate yes. the chest out of them. Because, yes. because they, they know that, that the father loved them and cared for them. That you are the lion. And you gotta take that in consideration. Yeah. Not and not be angry. No. Because we, it's like what because see now you, you allow the enemy to come through a back door. Yeah. To stir up the anger in you. And now before you know it. By you getting chest out and getting checked. Now you want to run. Run back to what? And that's when the enemy comes in. Because Jezebel don't like rules. nothing that has order and rules and submission. So that's how the spirit could come in. You understand? Right. And then control you. That's why you got to close every door. Every day that's you right. pray, you have to ask God, God, I have pride. You don't know what you have in it. You don't trust this. It says, trust this flesh. Do not trust this flesh. Don't lean on the arm of flesh. Don't lean on the arm of flesh and do not trust your flesh. You understand? Because this flesh will fail you. So you have to pray all the time and make sure you close every door. That's right. You understand? That's right. And it says this is what we this is what God wants. As you being a leader in your whole house home, this is how we want you to treat your wife. This is how we want you to treat your husband. This is one how we want your children to be respectable. That's right. And that's a great rule. There's nothing wrong with this rule. That's right. That's because right. God God's word is truth and God's word is life. And that's anything right. that's that is life will make you live again and grow. Yeah. So we want to say thank you for watching the Voice of the Prophet Amen. Tuesday. Press like and share. Yes, yes, share yes. to your friends. Share to, to your own self. Check your own self because yes, you don't yes. know what's in you. Because we none of us know what's in us, so we check it every day. You know what I mean? But share Voice of the Prophet. Yes. We miss you, pa Prophet. We miss you. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I want to say this is Minister Keith Doggett. Uh, Minister Carla, we want to say Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. God, God bless you. Bless you.